Hey everyone, it's Kenji. Uh, today I'm gonna be cooking these smelts. Teeny tiny fishies, ready? So these are smelts. Um, I got them from my friend uh, Taichi Kitamura, Kitamura Taichi, the, uh, the chef at Sushi Kapo Tamura, um, which is a excellent, excellent uh, sushi spot uh, here in Seattle. So if you're not into very small oily fish, you know, like like say something like sardines, uh, for example, or mackerel, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of sardines and mackerel. Um, it, smelts are very different from sardines. Uh, they, ha they have a flavor that's more similar to a white fish, you know, something like a like a cod. So definitely um, a lot milder. In fact, they're mild enough that you can eat them completely whole and they're not going to have like, you know, that sort of typical what you would associate like with a fishy flavor, um, especially when they're very, very fresh. I like to clean out the guts because that is sort of the, the most strong flavored part. Some people like leaving the guts in there. Even if you're not going to clean out the guts, um, I would recommend puncturing a hole in the belly before you fry them. Otherwise, uh, they could inflate like a balloon and kind of explode on you, which uh, Taichi's told me that happened to him the other night. So I've got these little scissors. Um, I'm going in right sort of at the fish's butt, you know, the butthole, and you want to slit along the bottom of the fish like that right up to where uh, sort of the gills meet here. And then you open it up here, and uh, then you can get the liver and all that other stuff out from the inside, the egg sacs, etc. Um, all the internal organs, uh, and then there's a sort of like blackish membrane also, and I like to take that off as well. Kind of just give it a, a gentle rub with your with your thumb; it should come right out. Okay. And then all of these are already cleaned, so now I'm just gonna lay these out on these. Uh, on paper towels to dry them off. This is extraordinarily simple. Um, smelts, by the way, very, very popular, um, especially in the Mediterranean. You know, like you'll, you'll see these uh, fried on the streets of um, you know Istanbul or in, or in Greece. Very popular in Greece. Um, you know, I've had them in southern Italy and Sicily. Um, very, very popular, and, and usually done in a very, very simple simple way so you'll see we're just going to basically dredge them in flour nothing but flour season them with nothing but salt uh, and then eat them with nothing but lemon you really want to let sort of the uh, the fish flavor to come through there's not really much more you need to do to these guys all right we'll give them we'll dry them off don't have to be perfectly dry because you want a little bit of moisture on them so that the uh the dredging the flour is going to stick this method, by the way, it works well for a whole fish like this. It'll it'll also work, you know, if you've got fillets um, or if, if you've got other fish, if you don't have access to smelts, um, it'll work for other types of fish as well. Um, but this is sort of the classic preparation for smelts. All right, so I've got a pot of oil going here. I'm aiming for around... We want this to be around 375 degrees when the fish go in. Uh, right now it's around 255 degrees, so we'll, I'll turn up the heat a little bit and let it keep going. Meanwhile, I will get my uh, my dredge ready. So the dredging mixture, watch carefully because this is a very complicated recipe. This is all-purpose flour. And we're done. So we take our fish. I like to toss them in there. You know, toss the bowl with one hand and kind of drop the fish in one at a time so that they don't stick together. I would do the same thing if I was, uh, you know, breading something for fried chicken, for example. Breading chicken pieces for fried chicken. Toss the bowl and drop them in one piece at a time. I'll fry about half of these right now um, because actually my, some of my family is still upstairs. So I'm going to fry half them right now just so I can show you. Um, I'll save the other half to fry right before uh, I call them down for dinner in a couple minutes. After I do this first batch, I'll do them in two batches. Okay. Very, very, very simple. I don't have any lemons today, but I got some limes. Limes will do. You know, the last thing I'll do, I'll, I'll garnish them just for the sake of it because I know I have some parsley in here I need to use up. Garnish them with a little bit of parsley. I'll just uh, give it a real rough chop so we can sprinkle it on at the end. Absolutely no need for this, but I had the parsley, so I'm gonna do it, you know. All right, so this is 
this is vegetable oil. You know, you can use any kind of uh, high temperature frying oil, vegetable, canola. Um, you know, you could use shortening if you want, but although for fish, I would not, you know, you could use light olive oil. I wouldn't use something heavy like shortening for, for fish, but this is just vegetable oil, uh, 375 degrees, which is where we're at. Okay, I'm gonna take my fish. Now I'm gonna lower them in there one at a time. And the thing to remember when you're frying is that oil can sense fear. So you don't wanna drop things in from high up. You want to get your fingers right down low, lower things in gently like that, get your fingers right up to the edge and then drop them down. That way they don't splash up at you. Okay. Just let them slowly dive in. It's like you're, it's like you're lowering a, a toddler into a hot tub. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to just chuck them in. I guess sometimes I just chuck them in. Now the thing about smelts is that you can eat them whole like bones, head, and all, you see? All right, so now what we're gonna do, I've got, I'm gonna, I'll start with these, this many, uh, and I'll save the rest for when my family's ready for, ready to come eat. Now I just wanna agitate, agitate, agitate. You know, with, when you're frying things, if you want, the, you know, the, the more you keep things moving, the more uh, sort of uh, convection you get going on in that oil, uh, the, the more evenly things are gonna fry and the crisper they're gonna be. You know, so we do want to keep things moving a little bit. You don't want to like knock around the fish so much that you completely knock off all the flour, but you do want to get the oil swirling around a bit in there, you know? All right, we're looking pretty good. Um, so when you add the fish in there, of course, the oil is gonna drop in temperature. So you want to uh, make sure that you adjust the heat to try and maintain it, you know, anywhere between say 325 and 375, you're gonna be good. Although uh, on the sort of upper end of that is probably better for fish this small. Generally sort of the smaller the food you're frying, uh, the higher the temperature you want it to, you want it to be because um, you wanna make sure that you you know, really nicely crisp up and brown the outside before they very drastically overcook in the middle. So if you fry them at too low a temperature, um, when they're very small like this, they don't brown fast enough before they start to dry out in the middle. But I think we're looking pretty good right here. Mm. All right. Very, very close. All right. They fried for just a couple minutes. Drain them over on a... Uh, on some paper towels here. Ooh. I love these. Season them with just a little salt. I'll hit them with the both sides salted, of course. Okay, I'll hit them with just a little touch of parsley as well. And then let's get them onto the plate here. And this guy. All right, I'm gonna tear off a chunk of this just so I can, uh, well, I'll just eat it whole. How about that? It's gonna be real hot. All right. Hi, guy. Hmm. <laughs> Mmm, mm, so good. Really nice, clean flavor. Mmm. Man, all right. I'm gonna call my family, fry the rest of these, and enjoy them. Um, I wish you could have them. You probably can't, because smelts, smelts are not really that readily available. But smelts, if you get them, fry them. They're awesome. Uh, guys, gals, non-binary pals, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.